What if I told you that the best DFS players in the world, the ones making millions, lose money on 80% of the slates that they play? And what if I told you that trying to win more often is exactly what's keeping you from becoming profitable? Today, I'm going to reveal the brutal truth about DFS that no one wants to talk about and show you why embracing failure might be your only path to success. I'm Jordan Chand, SaberSim's lead instructor. Over the past five years, I've coached thousands of DFS players through our platform. I've analyzed millions of lineups, studied the habits of our most successful users, including five who won a million dollars just last year, and I've discovered something that flies in the face of everything you've been taught about daily fantasy. Look, Everyone's out there selling you tactics, how to find the best value plays, which stacks to target this week, what percentage of your bankroll to risk. But these are just band-aids on a broken strategy. Methods and tactics change every season. What I'm about to share with you isn't a tactic. It's a fundamental law of tournament DFS that never changes. It's the difference between the 95% who donate and the 5% who dominate. Here's the truth that changes everything. You can either minimize your losses or maximize your wins, but you can't do both. Let me paint you a picture that might feel painfully familiar. Maybe you've been playing it safe for the last few seasons. You know the routine. You build solid lineups with the proven players. You play only the right types of game stacks. You enter mostly single entry and three max contests to try to dodge the pros. And then every mo Monday morning, you check your results and find you min cashed in a few contests but lost money overall. And maybe this year you're doubling down on being smart. You're going to be even more careful with your picks, do more research, play even safer contests, better bankroll management. You're convinced that if you just play everything tight enough, you'll finally turn the corner. But here's the thing. You're about to fall deeper into the DFS death spiral. Your cash rate might go up. Maybe you'll cash 40% of the time instead of 20%, but your bankroll will keep shrinking, just slower. Why? Because when first place pays 25% or more of the entire prize pool, and the sites are taking another 16 to 20% off in rake, there's only one way to beat this game. You have to win big. And winning big means accepting that you're going to lose most weeks. This math is unforgiving. If you play it safe and cash 40% of the time, but never hit the top 10, you are just bleeding out slowly. But if you lose 80% of the time and spike one big week, you're suddenly profitable. And this is exactly how the top pros think. The players actually winning millions, they embrace the losses. They'll lose five straight Sundays in a row without blinking. Why? Because they're not trying to win every week. They're positioning themselves for the weeks when everything clicks. They know that one first place finish pays for months of failures. While you're trying to avoid losing, they are optimizing for winning and that difference is everything. Now, at this point, you might be thinking, okay, Jordan, I get it. I need to embrace losing. I need to play for upside. But here's where it starts to get really scary. When you're losing 80% of the time, how do you know if you're doing it right? Are you just losing because that's just variance? Or are you losing because your strategy is terrible? When traditional thinking says, if you are losing, change something, but the math says, keep losing eventually to win big, how do you know which voice to trust? Let me tell you about one of our players, Matt. He went on a 15 slate losing streak in NFL last season, 15 straight weeks of red. His family literally thought he had a gambling problem. His friends staged an intervention. I am not making this up. The funniest part of the story, he ended the season up $47,000. Another player, Mike, wrote to us last NFL season and said, I've won exactly three times since week one, but I'm up eight grand. How do I explain that at Thanksgiving dinner? This is the psychological torture of variance. Every losing Sunday feels like evidence that you're doing something wrong. Your spouse questions why you're still playing. Your own brain is screaming at you to fix what might not be broken. And here's what happens to most players. They crack. Right when their strategy is about to pay off, right when variance is about to swing their way, they abandon ship. They retreat to safer plays and safer stack types that guarantee long-term failure. They were three weeks away from a massive score, but they'll never know because they gave up on the strategy on week 12. The pros have a secret weapon that lets them lose without doubt. It's called expected value, or EV. Expected value is a fancy way of saying how much a bet is expected to win or lose in the long run if it were repeated thousands of times. Let me explain with a simple example. Imagine I offer you this bet. 
I flip a coin, heads, you win $2. Tails, you lose $1. Would you take it? You should take that bet every single time for the rest of your life. Why? Because the expected value is positive. Half the time you win $2, half the time you lose $1. On average, you make 50 cents per flip. Now here's the key. What if you lose five flips in a row? Should you stop? Should you change your strategy? Absolutely not. The math hasn't changed. You're just in a bad run. DFS works the same way. Every lineup has an expected value, what it's worth on average if you could play that exact slate thousands of times. The lineups might lose most of the time, but if they're plus EV, you keep playing them. Now, an important side note here, this is why bankroll management is so important in DFS. If you know that the typical outcome is losing and the losses are paid for by a few massive days each season, then you need to make it long enough to make it to those massive days. You don't wanna be the guy that bets his whole roll on the first few coin flips, runs bad, and then busts out. Play in a way where you can afford to lose and stick through the entire season. This thinking changes everything about how you measure DFS success. You stop tracking your weekly cash rate. You stop obsessing over last Sunday's results and you start tracking whether your process is plus EV. If you're losing with a plus EV process, that's just variance. You can stay the course. If you're winning with a minus EV process, you got lucky and disaster is coming. But here's the problem. Knowing about EV is one thing. Actually measuring it is impossible to do on your own. You can't calculate the true expected value of your lineups because you'd need to simulate how thousands of different game scripts play out, how your opponents build, and how contests actually unfold. This is exactly why we created the Saber system. It's not just another tool. It is a complete framework for building your own repeatable plus EV process. See, you can't improve what you don't measure. And if you're just winging it every week, trying different stuff, you'll never know what actually works. The Sabre system gives you that repeatable process, the same six step game plan that the pros follow. Every step is designed to maximize your EV and more importantly, to be consistent week after week so you can trust your process through that variance. All of this is powered by SaberSim's tools. First, we run play-by-play -play simulations of every game thousands of times, not just projected points, actual game scripts showing how players perform together when things go their way. These sims let us build lineups with real upside, not just good average projections. Then, and this is crucial, we simulate your actual contests. We take those lineups we've built and test them against the field you'll actually face with the exact payout structures thousands of times. This tells you the true expected ROI of every lineup before you risk a dollar. Then after the slate, our contest flashback feature shows you what your lineup and your portfolio was actually worth based on what your opponents really played not what you won or lost, what your expected value was. Finally, you can answer the question, am I losing because of variance or because my process is broken? Let me show you what this actually looks like. Last season, Giant Squid, one of the best DFS players in the world, had a week nine where he lost money in 92% of his contests. His actual ROI in the Millie Maker here was minus 59%. He lost $1,700 in this contest alone. But in our contest flashback, his expected ROI was almost a positive 51%. His portfolio, according to The Sims, was worth about $1,500. His process was perfect. The variance was brutal. Now, Giant Squid knows his process is profitable. He knows that he was dealing with variance. Sure enough, one week later, he shipped the Millie Maker for a cool million dollars. Or take Jay Gerbs, another SaberSim Winner Circle member who actually won two Millie Makers last year. We looked at his contest flashback data, and in the six weeks before his first million dollar win, he had a positive expected ROI every single week while losing money in five of them. He stayed the course because he could see his process was working and the results followed. Now, don't get me wrong, you need some solid run good to win a million dollars. And I'm not saying everyone with a positive sim ROI is eventually going to win a milli. But if you check the results of any top pro you think is winning all the time, I promise you that is not the case. Most of the time, it is week after week after week of painful losses before it all comes together. This is the difference between gambling and investing. Gamblers chase results. Investors trust their process. Now you have two paths from here. Path one, keep doing what you've been doing. Keep playing it safe, keep minimizing your losses, maximizing your cash rate, wondering why you never seem to actually win big. Keep that slow bleed of your bankroll going while you watch the same avatars dominate the leaderboards week after week. Or you have path two, 
Embrace the reality of variance. Build a repeatable game plan you can trust. Track your EV instead of your feelings. And position yourself for the wins that actually matter. If you're ready for Path 2, we make it simple to get started. For just $7, you can try SaberSim for seven days. You'll get immediate access to the complete Saber System training that shows you exactly how to build your Plus EV process step by step. And you'll get all of our tools that make it easy to implement from building high upside lineups to tracking your expected value. And look, again, I'm not promising you'll win a million dollars. I'm actually promising the opposite. You're gonna lose most weeks probably most of your weeks of that first seven days. But I'm also promising you that you'll finally know if you're on the right track. You'll have a process you can trust. You'll stop second guessing yourself every time variance hits. And that's the difference between donating and dominating. So if you're ready to finally stop fighting variance and start profiting from it, click the link in the description of this video or head to sabersim.com and join our winning team. The choice is yours, but the math, the math doesn't care what you choose. It just keeps doing what it does. The only question is whether you'll position yourself to benefit from it or keep fighting against it.